Hello and welcome back to my channel. One Us is back with their new mini album, Binary Code. We're going to be checking out the uh, title track off of that, which is Black Mirror. I've heard that this is very MJ inspired. Korea loves their Michael Jackson, so I'm expecting a lot of that in the dance moves. One Wong going to go off. This is following up their first full album, I think it was, in Devil. I hadn't listened to that. I've had a lot of people ask me whether I'm going to be doing it on Patreon. Maybe eventually, because we're actually just getting into Want Us pretty heavily now. We've reacted to uh, a couple of their early songs songs and also a guide most recently if you haven't seen that check out the playlist down below but uh yeah an album reaction maybe of devil maybe of devil devil and binary code that would be possibly something for patreon who knows i got a lot on my plate right now so we'll see but i'm very excited for this i think i've got the names down kind of i still i think face wise still just struggle with soho and konhi those are the only two that i still struggle with but let's do it no captions unfortunately one us black mirror Let's do it. Oh yeah, right off the bat. Some black or white dream catcher vibes. Mm, the baseline. Dude, I don't know how to describe Hwan Wung. He's really very much an all-arounder. He's considered a main dancer and sub-vocalist, but his vocals are awesome. He's he's just like, he, he's just fabulous. He's just great. All-arounder. And he still keeps the pink hair somewhat from No Diggity. Raven. Ido bringing the vocals here. Oh, I like that switch up. Oh, you switch members here. Is that Soho to Kanhi? Yes, funky. The footwork so MJ inspired. Oh, even the way they take their stance here with their hands back. Bah. It almost reminds me like the wings of Valkyrie. Wait, I'm pausing so much for the match cuts with their outfits. One Woog is such a killer center, man. Mm. Funky with a little bit of like disco. Gonna bring, you're gonna bring that speckled out freaking shiny jacket? Come on. Mm. I like the two mirrored walls, obviously, in that they dance off of each other. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The bass guitar and the synth drums. You're gonna go chunky with that bass guitar and go doo -doo 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 with the synth drums? You, you got me. These interior sets are so simple, but so well done. Just that that little accent of lighting that you have in in between, like the the panels of the walls. It adds so much like texture to the background. It makes them pop. I really like this pre-chorus. The head movements. They even have, yeah, that, that like, band-esque outfit is just, like, inherent to Michael Jackson. It's like a send-up. All of it. See, see, so you have like a, not even an empty chorus, but you have a very low-key, funky 
chorus that I still love right off the bat here. But it just like coalesces into this like rising thing. And there's this crescendo. And it's so effective, right? Here. Mm. Okay, before we get into the bridge, also with the colors, you have total black and white uh, simplicity in one aspect, and then the mirrored like version of themselves have all these splashed mixed colors, and it being called binary code, I'm wondering if that's supposed to be kind of like a glitch effect, or if you have a visual like uh, video glitch, usually you have like, across the whole you know RGB like color spectrum there. I'm, ass I'm assuming it's trying to simulate that effect. Look at this, 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 Oh, I like that flourish. We haven't had too many extended Chian parts. He looks so good with his long hair. Oh, someone also going off in the background here. Look at the girl. Oh, dude, dude, that wasn't your average, like, drop either. Legs, knees inward, and then bop, right back up. The whistles? Oh, thank you. Yes, outro. This whole MV was just kind of, like, effortlessly cool that's kind of what it gave me this effortless coolness it's it's everything from the the funk to the style to their confidence the the way that they give their expressions off on camera all of it was really sharp uh it, emblematic of a group that i think is really coming into their own and starting to hit that stride because they haven't been around for a super long time right i think it's only been maybe two years that they've been around i think man i just saw the guide and i already forget but i'm pretty sure that's the case they're relatively new uh so i think around this year you get to year two year three you start to get that identity you start to get a bit maybe more comfortable uh in yourself and this being so vastly different they've they've really run the gamut F starting off with a lot of fantasy mvs with valkyrie with twilight and then i mean no dignity was so incredibly different that reminded me of like an ace track uh, something of that sort really hard really in your face and bold dark with the imagery so I love that aspect of it and then this completely shifting yet again to this just cool disco uh, MJ inspired song really really funky they nailed pretty much everything about it from the style the send up the, the choreo was awesome uh, the the mixing the mixing again Rainbow Bridge, like all of their artists, I think all of their songs are very, very well crafted. All of the, their the vocals uh, and the actual instrumentation balance each other so, so well. Nothing's drowning out the other. Uh, and this is kind of like an instrumental that I could totally listen to by itself and still really enjoy. And I think that that's really highlight of a, of a great song, at least the the uh, foundation of a really great song. And then you add everything else that we just watched on top of that. And uh, yeah, it's a winner. I think Black Mirror is a very, very good song. It's also one of my favorite TV shows. So props to that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this comeback. What do you think of the album? Obviously, I have not heard Binary Code yet. Um, I think it's also like shiny, right? Because they even had these mirror panels in the MV where that kind of like uh, shiny glare, that color gamut glare you get off of a mirror. I think it might 
be emblematic to the cover art i'm not sure i'm just i'm just guessing now but please let me know what you thought of the album and if you'd like me to see the live stage of this or do an album reaction on this eventually again pretty backed up so album reactions m might be a month off before i would actually get to it but i'd love to gauge interest at least um but a live stage once that drops i'd love to see it right away because this choreography is really impressive and i'd really like to see it uh in it's in its full you know full array so thank you guys so much again check my one us playlist down below in the description if you need to catch up with us and i'll see you in the next one